So Apple recently announced AirPlay for iOS and Apple TV. Uh, so my first step was going and updating my Apple TV to um, iOS 4.2, which on the Apple TV was iOS uh, 4.1 equivalent. So if we go in here to the general settings of the Apple TV and go ahead and download and install the update. It'll give us an estimated time remaining here. Um, once it finishes this process, the Apple TV will go ahead and restart. So we can go over to um, the settings tab down into general. And then we can go see that the Apple TV is in fact running um, the correct firmware. And there we see software version 4.1. So once we've updated the iPhone as well, we can go ahead and uh, go into the iPhone and as we're playing music, you can see there on the bottom right hand corner the TV icon. Um, you can switch it back and forth between the Apple TV and the iOS device. This also works with the iPad and it also works with video. Um, so you can control it through the um, iPhone or iPads or iPod Touch on screen, um, play, pause, control there. Uh, the UI Apple did for this is pretty nice. It's a very simple, just a couple taps of a button and then you get to choose um, where you'd like to play it and it has the icon next to it uh, so it's a speaker in this case whether it's going to play video or audio. So I tried it out with Netflix and I was kind of disappointed. Um, it, AirPlay does work with Netflix however only audio is sent to the Apple TV no video is actually sent along so you can listen to the, um, the audio to the video on the TV but the, the video itself will remain on the iPod and there are some uh, workarounds available right now but I haven't had a chance to test those out quite yet. So this also works uh, very well with iTunes. It works with video and audio through iTunes. So any video or audio you have in iTunes if it's playing. In the bottom right hand corner there you can see again the little TV icon. So we'll go ahead and pick a song, skip into it a bit and then we can choose to play it on the Apple TV instead of on the computer. And what this does is it just sends it out and streams it out to the Apple TV. Again this works with audio or video. There are some updates coming um, for different applications on the App Store to have their application work with it. But currently, for third-party applications, it only does audio. But again, there are some workarounds that I'll show off at a later date.